Jupiter Media presents. We are so happy to be here. And uh, for Nepalese students, that we have had an, a bit of experience with them. Uh, and now we would like to develop more and to reach out here in the Nepalese market to see, give them the opportunity to, to see Sweden. We have lots of different activities that our student union is taking care of together with our international office to support the students uh, at, in Sweden. All awards of degrees that universities give they are controlled by the Swedish government, so it's total equality in short. Around 90% of all students that are graduating, they get within a year, 90% uh, get an uh, employment in the correct field of their education. That means that it's not just for Swedish students, but also for international students. Quite sure that we will get more students from Nepal to Sweden, and hopefully we can build on this exchange so Swedish students can get experience yeah. of Nepal. Awasar, telecasting global opportunity. Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Awasar program. This program is all about education, the educational news, views and your career. Today we are going to talk about the unique study destinations Sweden. A large number of Nepalese students are pursuing their higher education in Sweden. And, but many students may not know about this. To provide you the fresh information about it, we have very special guests from University West Sweden. And the um, guests are uh, Thomas, uh, uh, Director International Affairs uh, of University, and the Professor Michael Erickson, Head of Department. Um, he's uh, focused on uh, engineering and robotics um, too. So let's welcome them to the show. Thomas and Michael, you are welcome on our show. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. We are so glad to be here. Okay. We are quite happy to having you uh, in this platform so that we can talk about, we can share about the, we can like um, uh, discuss more about the study in Sweden. So first of all, um, uh, Thomas, would you please tell us something about your Nepal visit for this time so that how it uh, re relates to University West Sweden's international outreach? Yeah, first of all, it's our first time in Nepal and we are overwhelmed. We have been here five days now and uh, overwhelmed by the welcome, uh, the people, the food, everything, everybody's so kind and uh, we are so happy to be here. And uh, for Nepalese students, we have had an, a bit of experience with them. Uh, and now we would like to develop more and to reach out here in the Nepalese market to see, give them the opportunity to, to see Sweden. Yeah, when I, I got the, um, like information about your arrivals here that I was quite happy that um, once again I would like to welcome you in the country of mountain and Himalayas. I'm talking about the Nepalese students interest they are like uh, um, very keen to know about the different like versatile study destinations so we'll discuss about it uh, shortly. So Michael talking about uh, your experience yeah. what aspect of Sweden uh, education system do you think uh, could benefit Nepalese educators institutions and uh, the vice versa? Yeah, so what uh, we are interested in is to find uh, nice universities here where we can uh, start the collaboration. Um, we are looking into uh, having um, the possibilities to have double degree programs or uh, both from a bachelor level or master level. Um, we are also interested to find uh, the possibility to have uh, semester abroad programs that Nepalese students can come to Sweden to explore and learn what we are good at as well as uh, Swedish students can come to this country because it's very beautiful here. Uh, Thomas, let's have a talk about the education system of Sweden. How you assured that the education system of Sweden is globally recognized? Yeah, uh, students that have a degree from a Swedish university get an uh, official degree that is international recognized and all awards of degrees that universities give, they are controlled by the Swedish government. So it's total equality in short. And we and the universities have the right to award these degrees. So the students shall be really calm and all our degrees also give the opportunity to take a PhD in Sweden or abroad. Okay. Um, Michael, yeah. especially talking about our show, we are frequently visiting in different university colleges, different study destinations and sharing the experience of international students through our television show. 
in this case, um, so how does the University of West Sweden accommodate international students, particularly those from Nepal? Yeah, so when the students are um, uh, admitted to our programs, they are getting a, the formal introduction letter, and when they, uh, when they arrive to Sweden, we are getting them to the airport and supporting them going to the, from the airport to our university. We are also supporting their accommodation. So all our international students, especially for Nepalese students, they get a uh, guaranteed accommodation at the university. Then we have loads of different activities that our student union is taking care of, together with our international office, to support the students uh, at, in Sweden. Okay. Uh, Thomas, let's have a talk about the unique courses at the mm -hmm. University of um, uh, West Sweden. So what are the popular courses among international students? Yeah. I would just like to add one thing, what we do with the international students when they arrive, we take them to IKEA so they mm -hmm. can shop really good Swedish uh, uh, things. And the courses that we offer uh, is especially in the field of engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, we have really good engineering courses. We have really good uh, in-time courses in uh, informatics, cybersecurity, for an example. And then also we offer social science, business, and finance programs. We have both one-year uh, master programs and two-year master programs. Okay. But especially from the business school and the engineering school. Okay. Uh, talking about the uh, engineering school, Michael, you are focused on robotics and uh, so on um, uh, engineering sector. Let's have a talk about the uh, research development inside the engineering um, uh, domain. So the teaching that we are doing is that we have a number of lectures. Um, me as a professor is standing in front of a class giving very traditional talk about the subject. But I think that is a little bit more unique for Sweden compared to many other countries is that I, we really encourage to have a dialogue. Uh, so I have a big dialogue with my students. Uh, the second thing which I think is very unique is that I give the students their own responsibility to learn the subject. I'm not just feeding the information. So I can have a few lectures and then in a week I give them assignments, I give them projects, I give them collaboration tasks to develop their own uh, studies, but I'm not just I just checking in the end, more than checking continuously or teaching how to do it. So it's more freedom for the students. I think that is a real big or interesting challenge for many of our international students because we are not so used to have this amount of freedom. So when we are integrating uh, the students in projects, so we as a researcher, we are collaborating with lots of companies. So we involve the students in this type of activities, in projects, thesis work, guest lectures, and so on. So we give the students a much bigger, uh, experience, bigger experience connected to our industrial context, to our industrial context. So I think that is a little bit different from um, the innovative teaching methods that we are using. Okay, Thomas, especially talking about the like, um, uh, University of West Sweden to make the horizon wider. What sort of the industrial tie-ups are there so that students can get the education inside the classroom and the beyond the uh, like, um, classroom also? So what sort of the uh, tie-ups are there? Yeah, as uh, Mikael mentioned, uh, th that what we're trying to do here in Nepal is to build the uh, exchange between uh, universities, but then we also try to find companies uh, where students can be and doing an internship or an industrial placement course. We have that opportunity in some hubs uh, around the world and also in Sweden, of course. So the connection between business life and the university, that is our strong side, I would say. Okay, uh, Thomas. Especially talking about, we have already like talked about the like uh, engineering department and other uh, things. So even talking about the uh, uh, ECA and um, uh, extracurricular activities, what sort of the competition and the activities happening there in University West Sweden so that students can excel 
as per their expertise and their interest? So um, we have lots of activities that is going on to really encourage the students to take their responsibility for their own uh, education, but also for what different type of activities you can do in your spare time. Cafe Student Union is very active in uh, interacting with uh, international students. So they are doing different type of trips. They are doing exploring the north of Sweden because that is very beautiful both in the winter, but it's cold but also in the summer. The student union is very active, and as I yeah. said before, we have good relation and interacting with them as well to support them. Yeah, and they have pubs every week for yeah. students. Yeah. Yes. And together with Swedish students, not only international no. students, they're working together to yeah. integrate. So yeah. they get the Swe whole Swedish experience. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Thomas, especially talking about the opportunities for international students, uh, study is one side and they want to excel themselves as uh, like uh, working opportunities and want to do something in like Sweden. Uh, they want to recognize among the business community, among the IT community and uh, international student community. Yeah. What sort of the opportunities are there as, uh, for the particularly international students? Yeah, uh, it's also for all our students and as uh, Mikael said as well, that when we have the connection with the business life, that we integrate that in the studies, we give the students the opportunity to build their own personal network with professors, with the organization, with companies. And that will of course benefit them if they would like to have an internship and also after studies. Then they can use their contacts that they built up during the studies. Yeah, and also to mention that most of our students were doing the thesis work uh, in the end of education in close collaboration with the companies. That means that you also, as Thomas says, you're building this network. So most of our students, they are employed by the company afterwards. And if you're looking at the employability rate in, uh, at, from our students, so around 90% of all students that are graduating, they get, within a year, 90% uh, 90 get an uh, employment in the correct field of their education. That means that it's not just for Swedish students, but also for international students. So by having this interaction with the companies and so on, it's a very good probability to get an employment afterwards. Okay, great. So, um, Michael, especially talking about the our television show, large number of students and parents are asking different questions, queries about the university validity, um, uh, like uh, um, uh, job placement, so on things. Among that, the scholarship is most asking question. Yeah. So what sort of uh, scholarship are there for international students? We are offering a scholarship for our international um, studies or students that are arriving to Sweden. Uh, it's based on merit and on their previous education and also for the work experience. And it's uh, applied through our university to get that one. And Thomas, I don't know if you have other scholarship possibilities no. in uh, connected to Sweden, but that is what we are normally using. Yeah, that's what the university is using. Then we're trying also to get the companies involved and hopefully we, they, we will be able to award uh, scholarships mm -hmm. from companies as well. But uh, everything changed from year to year. Okay, great. Thomas, we are at the end of this session. So what is your final message to the prospective Nepalese students and parents who are considering the Sweden and University of West Sweden? Yeah. First of all, uh, thank you for asking that question. I think not uh, for a student, it's the most important thing is to take the international experience. If it's not Sweden, it can be another country. Uh, I'm from Sweden, so I, I, I advise them to get to Sweden, of course. But it's uh, the key to get the key to open the future for them, to do something different. And it should be a bit scary because it's a new life, a new way of culture, a new country and so on. But take that opportunity and do it. Okay. Yeah. Michael, I, I, will, I would like to add something. Yeah. When you're talking about the family, your parents, mm -hmm. this is for the students, Sweden is very safe. So it's a very good safe, uh, or safety environment. So you can really send your kids to Sweden and feel safe that well, nothing will happen. So that is something mm -hmm. that should, we should address as well. And uh, once again, we are happy to be here in Nepal. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, I'm quite sure that we will get more students from Nepal.
to Sweden, and hopefully we can build on this exchange so Swedish students can get the experience yeah. of Nepal. Okay, Michael, anything from your side? I, I think um, the important part here is really to address that, I mean, the safety for the students. Sweden is a very safe country. It's not extremely cold, it's not extremely warm, it's very nice weather. We take care of the students in a very nice, good way, and the students get exposed to both internationalization but also for the industrial and the research that we are doing in Swedish, that I think is quite good on a high level. Okay, great. Thank you so much, um, uh, Tom and Michael, for your valuable time and thoughts. Uh, I think uh, students and parents are getting the a uh, little bit idea about the Sweden and uh, the international students opportunities in uh, University of West Sweden. Thank you so much once again. Yeah, thank, thank you very you. much. Our sir, telecasting global opportunity.